We're gonna be doing Sharpie shiplap. These are all we're gonna need to do this entire wall. And it only cost us the price of one water-based fine tip Sharpie marker. We had to buy the entire pack. It was like 10 bucks at Home Depot, but you can order the water-based Sharpie on, um, oh, I've got a lot of things here, on Amazon. Let me show you, can you, you guys wanna see that? That's the one we're using. My friend Lily Tucker, she did this first. Um, she went on Pinterest. We actually chatted about it back and forth for a while and she did it in her house and I've been wanting to do it ever since. So thanks Lily. Um, anyways, I've got a metal ruler, a level, a measuring tape. I don't know why, why do we need this then? Just to keep us on track. Just keeps on track. A very small pencil because when you have five kids, pencils are a commodity and then marker. We've already got the wall painted white from our last project, so we're ready to get started. So we haven't painted this back wall yet because I haven't started the hallway that goes up the stairs and that hallway that's like in the stairs. And that probably won't happen for like two more weeks because we've got a lot of stuff going on. And let's be honest, painting hallways, boring. But I, I need to get done because I'm thinking when I'm all done and I decorate this wall, I'm gonna do some sort of cool something on this wall. <laughs> Anyways, this is a video to come, but we are going to be putting also corbels here. Look how cute that is. So, and I'm thinking I might frame out this somehow, but that's later. Okay, we are going to start out at the top and go from the ceiling down every six inches. He's tall, that's why he's doing it. So I'm just marking right at six. My ruler that I have, my straight edge, is four feet long, so I'm gonna go about every 36 inches or so. Okay. And I'm just marking the six inches here, and then we'll do that line, and then we'll come down and mark another one down. And I'm always going to go from the top of the ceiling. When I, I'm not going to mark from the next line, I'll mark from the top of the ceiling. That way I'm straight all the way down. That way if my line gets crooked a little bit from all the way down there to over here, it'll still be straight on the next one. Well, it's not perfect. It'll be okay. <laughs> so I've got my marks for the six inch. Now I'm going to come down six more inches right at a foot and make more marks. Just pretty much the same spot as I did. And that way, when I come back through with my ruler, I can just mark it all at once and I don't have to go back and forth and back and forth. I mean, you're gonna do some walking around anyway, but try to speed this up some. Oh man, I almost forgot how to count by six. Six, 12, 18, 24, I'm, I'm 30. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> it was for joking. Oh. <laughs> all right, I've got my tick marks on here. I shook my marker up. There's a little ball to stir it up in there like a paint can. Okay, so I just got my straight edge here. Put it right on my marks. And if you can't see them, trust me, there's marks up there. Just take in the, the Sharpie marker right here on the corner, making sure that I'm holding really tight against my straight edge so that it doesn't sag down. If it were me, I would need help. And Sharpie ship lap. Sharpie Okay, so I got my lines lined back up. If you're not super confident, I would do it first in pencil, but Zeb is the man. I just didn't feel like writing two lines. Oh, messed up there. Gonna have to repaint that. That's why we're doing in water-based marker. Seriously, yo? Seriously. All right, so if you're having a special day like me and you didn't get your lines lined up, a little bit of magic eraser. And this is why you use the water base. Just come back with a paper towel and it's gone. We're gonna do this whole wall just like that and we'll show you intermittently throughout and then we'll show you what it looks like when we're all done. I'm four lines in and everywhere I have an adjoining line where I move the ruler, I'm starting to notice I've got these little thicker spots. So we're gonna fix that right now. We're gonna, I'm gonna hold the ruler and Jamie's gonna go back over with the marker. Let's see how good her eye is. Do you, do you need to stand on the stool? The one that's twitching? When you're this close, it does look like marker. Yeah. Okay. 
And so what we're doing is just thickening that line up so it's less it obvious. That's too high. All right. So just thicken that line back up and it'll be less noticeable <laughs> from across the room. <laughs> this is why I'm doing this and not Jamie. <laughs> I'm leaving that in. I'm showing them. <laughs> Where's that magic eraser? I'm going over my line a couple times to thicken it up. That way if there's a mistake down the road, it doesn't look so out of place if I have to thicken it up down there or where there's an intersection where I move my straight edge. Like right here, you can see it's a little thick. I'm gonna have to come back through there and thicken that up. And if you mess up real bad or get a line that you don't want or the straight edge slips and you go down the wall, let it dry. Then you can come back through and feather right up to that spot with the magic eraser or a wet paper towel will do as long as it hadn't set too long. So you can see right here, my straight edge slipped and I dipped down under my line. I'm gonna let that dry, then I'm gonna come back through, clean that up, and then I'll just draw right back over it again. Okay, so I'm on this little support wall for the arch right here, and I didn't do two lines when I marked it, because I'm just using the level. Putting it right on the line, got it where I want it. Pull my line through. I drew some lines on the wall and it's done. Um, and I did not draw lines on the wall because I can't draw a straight line to save my life. Here's the reality of the Sharpie ship lap. It looks pretty good. If you get up close, it looks like somebody drew on the wall. Yeah, if you're back across the room, you can definitely, it looks good. If you're right up close, it looks like someone drew on it with Sharpie. Yeah, but drew very straight lines with Sharpie. I actually like it, and I think once I get my gallery wall up here, it'll look really good. It cost us the price of one, well actually I had to buy a whole pack, but one pack of... Technically it's like $3. Yeah, one pack of $10 worth of Sharpie markers because we only used one marker but we had to buy the whole pack. Yeah. Way less expensive. And the people I know, so I, I know a few people have done the ship lap and they've used the cut down plywood and MDF and all that kind of stuff and they have a hard time with it, like pulling off the walls and stuff. So this is a great option. It'll never pull off the walls. Hopefully not. <laughs> The kids will probably touch it. And when we're done and we don't have to rip it off, we'll just paint over this, maybe do some primer over the lines and then paint over it and done. So great option if you can't afford or don't want to go to the effort of putting up real shiplap. I'd say it's a thumbs up. Yep, so tip real quick when I was putting it on and I had to fix a couple places where the straight edge slipped or I went off of my line. I waited for it to dry and then I used the magic eraser. You can get away with using a wet paper towel, but if you let it sit too long, the wet paper towel isn't going to cut it. It's not going to take it off. So. How long did it take you? Oh, we've been an hour total doing it. And filming. So it, it will take you longer if you're going to draw the lines with pencil first, which if, you, if it were just me, I would totally do that. But Zeb is... Yeah, I didn't really... I just marked where I was going to put my straight edge. I didn't see a need to draw a line with the pencil with the straight edge and then come back through and draw a yeah. line with the marker. So if that's the way you work, great. Comment below with any questions you have about it. It was a pretty straightforward, easy thing that I've seen like all over Pinterest. Lily gave me some tips and we use those. And, and comment below if you love it or hate it. It's okay, I can take it. Yeah, if you don't like it, if it's not your look, it's okay, don't do it in your house. <laughs> Anyways, be sure to subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage if you do like this or if you think you might like something else that we do. We do a lot of farmhouse, a lot of DIY, a lot of paint finishing. Comment with any ideas you have below. That's another great thing. We always want to know what are the trends that you're seeing that you want to know how to do something. We'll try it out. Give us a thumbs up and be sure to go to jamierayvintage.com for all your paint and DIY.